Well, gun control is back in the spotlight after two mass shootings over the weekend. Brian Flores joins us once again from mm. the live desk with the latest. That's right, Marnie and David. The pressure now falls on lawmakers to come up with a solution, but doctors are also weighing in on the issue. Coming up on Q13 News at 9, Jamie Tompkins showing you efforts from the local health community to prevent gun violence. We are back in 60 seconds. California, Texas, and Ohio. Three deadly mass shootings in two weekends. And tonight, how doctors say we need to respond. And a 62-year-old woman is facing charges. She's accused of driving drunk and killing a motorcyclist on I-5 last night. And we're going to take a look at her criminal history. And Pierce County Ferry is getting back to normal tonight after a dock problem put travel on hold for more than 24 hours. This is Q13 News at 9. Well, tonight we're learning more about the people killed in two mass shootings over the weekend. Thanks for joining mm -hmm. us at 9. I'm David Rose. And I'm Marty Hughes. The first shooting happened Saturday in El Paso, Texas. Investigators say a 21-year-old drove down from Dallas more than 10 hours on the road and then started shooting inside of a Walmart. 22 people were killed, 15 others are still in the hospital, and two of them are in critical condition. The Justice Department says the suspected shooter could face hate crime charges because of a racist anti-immigrant post online before the shooting took place. Authorities in Mexico say they're treating the shooting as a terror attack on Mexican citizens in the United States. Within 24 hours, a 24-year-old killed nine people in Dayton, Ohio, including his own sister. Police say the shooter had an assault-style rifle and was wearing a bulletproof vest when he started shooting outside of a bar in downtown Dayton. This happened about 1 o'clock on Sunday morning. Police officers shot and killed him less than a minute after he began firing. And tonight, investigators say it is still too soon to know what the motive is in this second shooting, what it might have been. We have a lot of evidence still to go through.